Um, and that's all about just being human, right? Right, you know? right. And but, that, um, yeah. yeah, that kind of sort of leads on to my next. Yeah, yeah, because um, you've got question. some questions that we because yeah, because, because that this. being human, you know, we ebb and flow, and a lot of us are taught that you know when you start marketing you've got to advertise and you've got to be really consistent and you know people really struggle with this and so one of the questions uh, uh, that I've got for you is what are your thoughts and how we can be more consistent with with our marketing yeah I, I actually really love this question because maybe my response might be a bit unexpected or maybe not <laughs> since I think opposite a lot of the time but I I question this importance of consistency mm -hmm. sort of thing in in the way that it's you know it, it's like people think it's the be all and end all if if, if you're just consistent it's gonna work right that idea and I, I actually don't think that's true because if you're consistently just bad <laughs> at what you're saying you know like you're just creating more noise you know and so I have come to this uh, realization that uh, a few years ago this happened I was like okay I started to realize you know what it's like every two or three weeks I share something and it's highly resonant and people seem to just want to you know they're just I'm not asking for comments and they're wanting to like say something about you know and I'm like isn't that interesting every two or three weeks so what's happening in between them mm. oh well, I'm kind of, I mean, I've never been a post every day or certainly not post multiple times a day type thinker, mm. uh, but I'm like, well, what if, what if I just made my, what if I didn't worry about the, the bits in between so much where I think, oh, you know, especially when Facebook or whatever saying, oh, you're, you know, people haven't heard from you in two <laughs> days, you know, alarm bells, you know, what if I just didn't worry about that? What if I just posted when I actually feel like very inspired like I've you know mm. and what if I did that so that's you know that's one thing just questioning the whole consistency it's it's mm. not it's not consistency alone I think you you've you know it, it's it's your message it's like how human can you be mm. you know? how yeah. but we, we we don't know how to do that because we've We've learned all these marketing rules and and how to write and and all of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's another piece to this. I thought I'd just share because when people hear this, they find it helpful. There is a another um, what would you call it? Profiling system, for want of a better word, that I um have had done on me, and it's actually to do with your um. It's based on psych psychosomatics, like the you know the the face and the and the shape of your body and, and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So it, this is called The Creator Types by Natalie Kent. Mm -hmm. So one of, um, you end up with a couple of, of these types as your key ones. One of them for me is, um, it's called The Whirlwind. And the thing about The Whirlwind is it's actually, it, 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 The Whirlwind comes in bursts. It's like, psh, wow. psh, and it's like, there's this other symbology of how, like a whirlwind is bringing stuff like like electricity down to the ground, right? And so as I started to understand some of this, um, it really related, I could see how it related to content. It's like, yeah. why, why bother trying to make myself be consistent? Why not allow myself to create in bursts? And yeah, like sometimes what that means is I've got I've got this to say, and it's like, oh, I've also got this and this. You know, and whereas it may have been nothing for like a week or two, like that I, and so hearing that kind of perspective also gave me permission to go, well, what if I just find my natural rhythm? Mm. You know? Yeah. Now, the, of course, some, some people are going to hear that kind of thing and almost be a bit afraid because it's like, well, what if I never feel like saying anything? What if I don't, what, what if there is never a rhythm and, you know, all of mm. that? And I, I think, you know, depending on the person, the answer is going to, you know, and their story, I don't know, you know, what. there's no one answer to that. But I often think, well, uh, so what, what do you, usually people are doing stuff they don't want to do, you know? Mm, yes. You know, so it's like, well, what do you, what do you, what do you, what feels heavy about it? Well, oh, well, this and that and this and that. And it's like, I've had a conversation with someone before. She just 
didn't even she thought she should like she was just going in the wrong direction or she was very confused about her business asked her what she was doing that she didn't like and then said how would you rather do it and just like that bang 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 she had three things that she wanted to do that weren't really the norm and I'm like do that then right she did that and generally we had this it was an experiment that she was to do whatever the hell she freaking wanted right it especially if it was against the rules and it transformed her wow it brought back all this energy back you know so it's like that's what I think about now if someone's going yeah but I don't really feel like doing anything you don't have to be on social media right first of all I just want to say that you don't have to do that but you there is you do need to have some presence somewhere so it's like yeah what would you like that to be you know yeah so I could go I on and on that. about that that's, one. But. That, that's, that's, that's very cool. I love that whole, um, the whirlwind. Um, yeah. And that's just so fitting. And I just think we ebb and flow in all areas of our lives. Mm. You know, we don't always have the same amount of energy for exercise or, yeah, you know, wouldn't it be yeah. boring if we ate the same meals every day at the same yeah. time? And yeah. Um, if we can just transfer that into the way that we show up, make it more authentic to us, I think we enjoy it more, don't we? It's less of a yeah. stress. And it's um, like this idea of making art. Yes. You would yeah. have heard me speak about, which, yeah. by the way, I, I got that term off Alexandra Friends and it's not something I came up with. Uh, but I, I, I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> like make art in you know like if we approach things like we're making art it's just Mm. a whole different vibe totally it's fun it's light it's yeah yeah opens up the possibilities doesn't it